video is a long-awaited CBCT analysis of uh, whether or not it was AGA and controlled arch braces or other things that caused my now well-known damage to my upper front teeth. I've been asserting that it's been that it was AGA and controlled arch braces that caused that damage. People have said, "Well, you know, the mo the waters are too muddied in your case. You did acrylic expanders before you did AGA, and then you did MSE after you did AGA, and you've had Invisalign trays. How do we know that it was really AGA and controlled arch braces that caused that damage, as you assert?" Well, this video is a response to that question. Now, I've always known that it was AGA and controlled arch braces that did most, if not all, of the damage to my front teeth, because I know that before I got into AGA, my teeth were fine. They were not wobbly. They were not sensitive. They were not uh, mobile at all. I could bite and chew with them. And then as soon as, you know, as I progressed through AGA treatment, I started having weird pains in those front teeth. There were there was pain when the aga was adjusted, uh, and then in, in January 2019, as you're about to see, a CBCT revealed that the the bone from around my front teeth was pretty much gone while I was still in controlled arch braces. So, what this video is is it's a time point. It, it's a two time points being compared. One from October 5th, 2017, this CBCT here, which was the week that I had the AGA put in. So this is right before I did AGA. And then the second one that I'm going to show you is January 14th, 2019, which was the last month with controlled arch braces. This was the CBCT that Dr. Nuaz took at the Gelb Center, where he discovered that... I uh, was having uh, tremendous amounts of damage to the upper front teeth from the AGA and controlled arch treatment. So let's dive right into this CBCT analysis. Now, I'm not a dentist. Uh, I'm not an x-ray expert, not a radiologist, but I think you'll see that, um, I, you, you know, the images are quite common sense in what they're showing. I mean, there's either bone or there isn't. It's not rocket science. And if you have some common sense and you can follow along with my explanation, I think you'll you'll see my point quite clearly. Also, I've gone through these x-rays with various periodontists and, uh, you know, Dr. Nuaz himself, who's a radiologist as well as an orthodontist. So I'm not making this up. This is, uh, unfortunately, the real deal. And the purpose of this is to just demonstrate that AGA really is dangerous. Okay, as we go through this CBCT, we're going to be focusing on four teeth. We're going to be focusing on first number 10, then number 9, then number 8, then number 7. These are the upper incisors, the four front upper teeth. And as we look at each CBCT, we'll start at 10 and we'll move our way over to 7. So I'm opening up the CBCT from October 5th, 2017, about 10 days or so before AGA was placed. This is the before CBCT for AGA, you know, the one that you could use for, you know, basically exactly what we're doing now, which is to reference how AGA changed uh, the bone structure and the teeth in my face. So this is before AGA. Now we're going to start with tooth number 10, the upper left tooth. Here we see a canine, and then here we see our first tooth. Now if you look at this tooth, you see the root of the tooth, and you see uh, the root of the tooth is in white, and it has a little bit of black going down the middle, and this darker stuff here is the maxilla. So you see some maxillary bone behind the tooth coming up over the root. And the maxillary bone sort of wraps significantly up and over the tooth. Not a ton of bone there. But uh, definitely the tooth is nestled in bone here. Now we're going to move to our next tooth which is tooth number nine. 
the upper left front tooth. And you can see up number nine is is here's the root again, and then this black stuff in the front is alveolar bone, and then you see the maxilla here in the back. You see tooth number nine is very nicely nestled in alveolar bone. You see alveolar bone encasing it in the front, coming down pretty much the entire length of the root of the tooth. Uh, the entire tip of the root is covered, and the, the alveolar bone extends all the way down the root of the tooth. Now we're going to keep going to tooth number 8, the upper right front tooth. And again, you see a nice, uh, long, robust layer of alveolar bone covering the root of this tooth. This tooth is, is nestled very nicely in alveolar bone. Here you see a very thick amount of alveolar bone coming over the top in the front of the root of this tooth. You can see the root is encased very nicely in alveolar bone, which is the darker stuff compared to the white stuff, which is the root of the tooth. Let's keep going. And here we see tooth number seven. Tooth number seven. And tooth number seven uh, is uh, the tip of the root of that tooth is definitely surrounded by alveolar bone. There's uh, a robust amount of bone on top of the root. Um, not a whole lot in front, but definitely some. Definitely some. Okay. All right, so, and then we have the canine on the other side. Now let's take a look at the CBCT from January 14th, 2019. This is the CBCT that Dr. Nuaz took while I'm still in controlled arch braces. You'll be able to see the braces in the CBCT. This is the CBCT that discovered all that had happened during the duration of AGA and controlled arch braces treatment. So here, the first thing that jumps out at you, let me zoom in just a hair, too much. The first thing that jumps out at you are the braces themselves. These are the famous, or I should say infamous, cab controlled arch braces. Here they are on my teeth. Okay, so there's a canine. There's the left canine. And let's start with tooth number... Tooth number 10. Tooth number 10 is what we're looking at right now. All right, tooth number 10. Now you can see the tip of the root of tooth number 10 has absolutely no alveolar bone anywhere on the front side of it. Before Aga, there was some bone coming up and over the, the tip of the root. Here, there's none. The tooth is forward, you could say, through the bone. Uh, there's some bone behind it, but in front of the tooth, there's absolutely nothing, even at the tip of the root. Let's proceed to tooth number nine. Tooth number nine. Now, if you remember, tooth number nine on the last x-ray had a robust amount of alveolar bone coming all the way down the root on the front side. Here, we see barely any alveolar bone, and it's all the way at the tip of the root. And coming down the front of the root, there's nothing. There's no bone here. No bone on the front of the root of the tooth. So there you see drastic amounts of change from before aga and after aga in controlled arch braces. Let's proceed to the next tooth. This is tooth number eight, the upper right front tooth. And again, where we had before aga, we had alveolar bone coming all the way down the front of the root here we have just a sliver of alveolar bone up at the tip of the root. 
Mostly, though, the tooth is completely out of bone. Either the bone has resorbed or the tooth has been pushed through the bone. Whatever it was, there's almost no bone left on the front side of the root of this tooth. Now we're going to proceed to the last tooth in our analysis here. This is going to be tooth number seven. And tooth number seven, again, we can see just, li just like tooth number 10, tooth number seven is the right side analog of tooth number 10. There's nothing in front of this tooth. There's no bone in front of this tooth. Any bone that's there is behind it. There's not even any on the tip of the root. Before Aga, we, we had a little bit of bone coming up and over this tooth, and we definitely had bone on the, on the, the top of the root. We could say that the tooth was definitely nestled in bone before Aga and controlled arch, and now we, we just see that it's basically hanging on for dear life to bone behind it. But on top and in front of it, there's nothing. There's nothing. So I believe that these CBCTs these two time points demonstrate the point that the damage to my upper front teeth occurred not from the acrylic expanders. Those didn't help, but they didn't, you know, you could see that even after I had them removed before Aga, there were still robust amounts of alveolar bone on my front teeth. The acrylic expanders are not the culprit. The MSC is not the culprit. Obviously, whatever caused the damage was the aga in the in the controlled arch braces. We see before aga we had bone, and after aga and controlled arch braces, there's tremendous amounts of bone missing. So, I hope you enjoyed this analysis, and uh, I hope it serves as a caution to anyone who is considering aga and controlled arch braces, who's in aga and controlled arch braces. Be careful. Your dentist probably thinks it's a growth appliance and will therefore be at risk of overexpanding you based on their ignorant views about how this appliance works. What you just saw is that what this appliance can do is push teeth, resorb alveolar bone, and in general damage the structures of the front teeth. Uh, so you heard it here. Consider yourself warned and... Um, Otherwise, take it easy. All right. Appreciate y'all.